Chapter 8.1, Journalizing and Posting Adjusting Entries. So we've gone through the accounting cycle, we've analyzed the transaction, we've recorded the transaction, we've posted them, we have created our worksheet, we've created our income statement and our balance sheets and our various financials, and now we're at the point where we have to journalize and post adjusting entries. Why would you post adjusting entries? Well, basically at the beginning of the fiscal year, you have so many supplies. More than likely throughout the time, you're going to be using those supplies, uh, whether that be supplies or prepaid insurance or whatnot there. You do need to record how much did the value of the remaining on hand at the end of the fiscal period. So, so if you take a look at here, we're going to continue on with lens laundry and we're going to give you a partial worksheet. So up above the, in the blue, that's a partial worksheet. So, and what the partial worksheet shows us is um, a, a couple things. It shows us the account title and it shows us what was used. In this case, we determined that supplies, we used a, a $450 worth of supplies and we used about $200 worth of uh, prepaid insurance. So for this example, since they're both going to be the same, we're just going to focus on the supplies. So we're in our journal. Uh, notice the date and all that stuff. We're going to be recording this. So now how do we record the amount of supplies that we used? The amount of supplies that we use is recorded as a debit, as supplies expense. Uh, and then we credit supplies because that will decrease the value of the amount of supplies on hand. So in the journal what we're going to do since we're posting since we're recording rather sorry adjusting entries we are first thing we're going to do is in our account title we need to write the word adjusting entries if we do not do that uh, it does not provide very clear and easy to follow information so we want to make sure that we post that in our journal as adjusting entries so we're going to put the date and the date and this transaction is April 30th since that is the end of the fiscal year as pointed out in the directions at the top of the screen our account title, basically it's very simple. Um, since they've given it to us, we're going to debit supplies expense $450 and then we're going to credit supplies $450 as well. So our document number, we don't have a document number in here and the reason we don't have a document number is because that adjusting entry is the document number th that allows us to not use that document number category. That tells us that this was an adjusting entry and this is the value of our supplies at the end of the fiscal period. After we've done that, we get to do everybody's favorite. We get to go and post. Uh, we're first going to post the debit, which is supplies expense. So we'll do the date, which is April 30th. And the post reference is 12 uh, because this is coming from page 12 of the journal. Uh, we're going to post a debit there, and we have a balance of a debit of 450 in expense. Basically just telling us that if we look in our supplies expense, that, yep, we use $450 of supplies, uh, red staplers or whatever. So ne then after that we'll then post our account number 550. Put it back there. Remember with the posting do not do not do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Don't do anything. Do not um, post five fi put the 550 in the post reference column until the ledger the respected ledger is completely filled out. If you do uh, that will create a super huge headache for you. So please make sure that you do follow those steps as outlined in previous videos. So then we're going to go through and we're going to post supplies. Well, supplies, as you can see right now, has a balance of 881. And this is the point of the adjusting entry, is the adjusting entry then in the ledger will allow us to see how much we have left in the value of the supplies. We don't have 450 uh, staplers. We have $450 of worth of staplers. So that could be 20 staplers if they're really nice staplers. So same thing here. We're going to post April 30th in the ledger account of supplies, which is that asset account of 150. The item, we're not going to put anything in there. We're going to put our post reference of page 12 because we got it from journal page 12. In this case, our supplies, it was a credit. We're just transferring it straight down. Um, oops, sorry, wrong button. Uh, put, post it straight down to 450. So now if we have a debit balance with a credit entry, remember they're different since the credit debit balance and a credit entry are different. Therefore, we're going to find the difference, which means we're going to subtract and the larger of the two will be the balance. In this case, debit is larger than credit, so it will be a credit balance. And if you think about it, you really can't have a credit balance in supplies. Uh, it's kind of hard to have negative supplies, but in this case, it'll be 431. So what does that mean to us? That means that we have $431 value worth of supplies left in our office that we use. So we're not done yet. Now what we have to do is we have to take our account number 150 and then we go 
back to that journal and put it in there and that signifies that we have done it. Again, follow the process. Don't put that 150 in first. Don't go bulk fill. You will create a headache um, and it'll be a, you, you'll really, 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 really dislike the posting process. So hope this helps and um, good luck and see you soon.